Unlocking Dreams, Sharika Taylor, take one. My name is Sharika Taylor. I am an attorney at law, and in 2014, I was the parish champion for St. Thomas through the NCB Foundation. My mother, Princess Clark, has always encouraged me to be my best. Um, she didn't get to make it to where she wanted to be, so she pushes me, encourages me to do the best that I can do and to be the best that I can be. I am from a very small community in St. Thomas, it's called Riverhead. My friends always used to say it's Baka God because it's really that far. I grew up with my mother, my father, my younger brother. My older siblings were there, but not all the time. I attended first the Riverhead Basic School, then the Bethesda Olive School, then Grand Spen Primary and Infant School, and then the great Campion College. Oh, and then I went to UA, but you know. While I attended the University of the West Indies, Mona, I served as the public relations officer for the El Saliarine Hall and also for the UE Mona Guild of Students. I think those two years, the experience that I got uh, would have shaped or does shape the person I am today. I was in sixth form when I learned about the NCB Foundation Scholarship. I had previously been a beneficiary of an NCB grant when I was in fourth form and then in sixth form, you know, applying to university, um, wanting to get a scholarship you now. My friend recommended the NCB Foundation Scholarship. It was actually my cousin and I who applied together on the very last day of the applications. The NCB Foundation Scholarship was a beacon of hope. And I say that because in 2014, having just finished sixth form, having applied to the University of the West Indies to study law, and I was accepted for the self-financing program, which the tuition for that was 10,000 US dollars per year. I am from very humble beginnings. My people there don't have it. So I was quite worried and I didn't know what was going to happen next. At that point, it was pretty much give up law and study something else or give up university altogether and go find a job somewhere. But having applied to the NCB Foundation for the scholarship, I was surprised when I received the call to attend the interview. I went to the interview and I swear, I think that's probably one of the worst interviews I did, at least from my point of view. It was just like, yeah, this is it. But then I got the next call that said, hey, you know, pretty much you're our scholar for this year. So for my mother and I, I discussed it with her. It was like, this is a sign um, that somehow things will work out. Because here you are, like a country girl from nowhere, really and the Big Bad NCB Foundation is now giving you a scholarship. It was only $250,000 at the time. My tuition was $10,000 US dollars, but it was a start. It represented a start, it represented hope, and we decided to go ahead. Somehow, things will work out, and by the grace of God, they have worked out. Through the NCB Foundation, I was able to pursue that dream. And no, I would say the dream I have unlocked so far is becoming an attorney at law. Um, I mean, I finally decided that this is what I wanted to do. I was called in 2019. And I would say if I can toot my own horn, I'm a good attorney and I'm getting better, so. My advice for other young Jamaicans is to always position yourself ready to receive the blessing that is there for you. Remember to work hard, 
but also work smart. Remember to always, always, always give thanks.